Hello. <laughs> it's KMA. How was your day? Uh, my day is going pretty good, as you can tell. Um, I guess this is a weekly update. Uh, if you see these, I don't know how well you can see. The crack goes through the whole thing now. The crack goes through the whole thing. But luckily, um, I got a notification yesterday saying that my glasses will be delivered by my company today. And seeing that uh, we're about 99.98% .9 accurate on priority deliveries, I'm pretty sure next time you see me, I will not have this big ass crack <laughs> in my glasses. So, um, what I wanted to tell you about is something called snowbirds. Um, if you're not from Florida or you don't move back and forth from up north to down to Florida, you have no idea what a snowbird is. And basically a snowbird is somebody who spends their winters in Florida, down where I am, and spends their summers wherever they live, which could be Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, New York, Illinois, even Canada, places like Ontario. Um, we get a lot of Quebecers, Quebecians, um, and they all come to South Florida to enjoy the weather. You know, it's not the sunshine state for no reason. And if you don't want to deal with feats of snow, you can deal with feats of sunshine instead and beaches and all the good stuff that goes along with it. <clears throat> so this migration of people to come to my town has already begun, which means my job has be gets a little bit rougher. Um, basically, what happens is I'm just going to say my take my route in the middle of January. It is like eight, nine hundred people, which is about the same, about the right amount of uh, people per route. And if I were to keep that route the same way in the summer, that eight, nine hundred people would be down to about 150 people. That's the percentage of the people that actually leave this town in the summer because I don't want to deal with the heat and humidity. So they're on their way back right now. So what happens in the summer? Because the post office obviously doesn't want to give me the same amount of pay servicing 900 people as it does 200 people. They have these ghost routes that happen in the winter that they uh, take um, and split apart routes that are going to be too big in the winter. And uh, they take these pieces and they make them auxiliary routes and other people do them. Um, so basically, right now, because it's not season yet and the snowbirds are not here, I'm doing my route plus half of another route. So that means in the summer, I do have the 800 people or a full day's work. Unfortunately, I thought... Oh, so at some point, they choose a time to take that part off my route. And unfortunately, I thought that time was October 29th, which means that I would have had two weeks of hell basically two weeks of doing a route and a half worth of work um so something that would normally take me six hours will be taking me like i mean it doesn't sound like a big deal but 10 to 12 hours but if you do it six days a week that's 72 hours a week if i'm doing it 12 hours a day and i thought the day that they're going to take the part off my route was going to be october 29th but i found out yesterday and it's going to be November 12th, so I have four weeks of hell. So basically four weeks of working 70, 80, maybe even more than 80 hours a week to make the same paycheck that I made, say, in August working 30 hours a week. Um, so my time is basically going to be eliminated. Um, zip, zap, bye! And I'm trying to start streaming here, so um, that's not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. So, um, I'm still going to try and stream um, with a schedule, <laughs> which I've been doing really horrible at, by the way. Um, so, basically, what I am going to do is I'm going to, on Saturdays, I think later on today, I will put up a schedule somehow. I'll post it somewhere. I might even just make it on Notepad and, you know, print screen and make a little picture of it and throw it on Twitter of my expected streaming schedule and the post office I work at in order to go out onto the road we have to deliver every single piece every single day 
and you know with everything in life there's an ebb and flow to it so one day i might have 1000 letters and the next day i may have 5000 letters and so the day on that i have 1000 letters i'll be home at like noon one o'clock in the afternoon days where i have 5000 letters it might be three or four o'clock in the afternoon and i don't know until i go to work so like today i'm going to work in probably a half hour and i don't know if i'm going to be home today at one or if i'm going to be home at six or seven o'clock tonight so trying to make a streaming schedule around that is next to impossible and with all the snowbirds coming and instead of having like 800 people on my route i'm going to have like 14 1500 people on my route um it's gonna be a lot tougher to do that schedule but what i'm gonna try and do is make a schedule post it on twitter pin it on my twitter page so it's the first thing you see whenever you go to my twitter page that will have an approximate start time for each day that i'm gonna um stream and i'm gonna have a deadline um time so if i come home after a certain time i'm just gonna cancel the stream for that day so for the next basic month, it's going to be a little touch and go with my streaming schedule. But after that, once they take the piece away, um, life should be back to normal, basically. My approximate time to start streaming shall be within 15 minutes to a half hour of the same time each day. Um, so that's the deal. And the worst part about my particular route and nobody wants it because of this is that like if we go nuts we get a paycheck and we're like oh let's go buy some amazon stuff normal people go buy a couple of packages of amazon and we'll get on a bad day two or three packages to one place but every single person on my route is a millionaire they live in high rises and each floor on the high rise is an extra quarter million dollars so the top floors i mean the lower floors are all about the same prices but after you get higher than four seven it goes up about a quarter million dollar per floor. So like the top floors, these places are 10, 12 million dollars. And these are third and fourth homes for these people. So, I mean, we get a couple of letters in the mail. These people get like mail like this. And sometimes I can't even fit in their mailboxes. So I deal with a lot more mail than the average person down here because I happen to deliver to the super rich section of town. Um, and to some very famous people too. <laughs> but... I can't tell you that either because um, if they're here, I'm not allowed to really say. If they're gone, I can kind of say, yeah, I delivered to this person's house and I've met them plenty of times. But um, basically what I'm going to say, my schedule is going to be very hectic for the next month, month and a half. And I'm going to do my best to get streaming on the right times and the right um, places and kind of give you an idea of when I plan on streaming and where I plan on streaming. Um so just bear with me for the next month month and a half and i will give you guys a schedule every week so on twitter so you can have an idea of what my plan is and even though i was hacked and i've kind of taken another little, little bit of break i do plan on getting back on it tonight um every time i mention a stream i end up not streaming so but tonight i plan on streaming the pillow fort so um i guess that would be three four o'clock in the afternoon my time eastern time and they'll see new glasses, maybe, if these glasses make it through the day and I get my new ones. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Um, so, yes. That's the deal. Um, my schedule's going to be a little f messed up. <laughs> and uh, uh, just bear with me a little bit. Um, and hopefully uh, we can get the streaming on schedule and online and do it consistently until then have a great day thank you for watching listening and dealing with my stupidities and i'll talk to you later and hopefully i'll see you in stream tonight uh, peace let's turn this thing off